What is Jewel Breaker? I feel like my brain is going to explode under like the exposition this man is going to give me. Yes, I killed. <laughs> Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. My name's Uno. Fun fact, this was actually supposed to come out yesterday. But I had some issues with my uh, my toilet. Not my toilet. My bathtub. And I needed to unclog that. And that stressed me basically the rest of that whole yesterday. And I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go to sleep. But anyway, we're back. I did change um, Adachi to the Enforcer. I don't know if I heard that loud, that loud car go by. But anyway, I uh, changed Adachi to the Enforcer. Um, and I was basically trying to level up people's job ranks and stuff. I did get a really nice piece, which is the Tiger Belt for Ichiban. Which you're thinking, why didn't you give that to Namba? Namba can recover his HP on his own. Same with um, Sachan. So I was like, oh, well, pff, I can just spin this on freaking Ichiban and just make him bust it. All right. So with that out the way, I'm um, going to continue on with the story. Also, I did some backstories. Or, uh, you know, like got some drinks with uh, Joongi Han. Apparently, he's gotten cosmetic surgery for him to look like his old boss. And, yeah, that's that's nuts. I want to pop in here real quick. But that, that's crazy. That's nuts. It's bananas. Um, and his real name isn't even Jun, uh, Joongi Han. So... I'm kind of wondering, um, eventually when our bond grows higher, what his actual name is. No one spoil that, please. Please and thank you. Um, I don't have him to party right now because he's already busted strong and I wanted to level up everyone else. Yeah, I'll be fine. I was going to say, should I, like, uh, recover? But, nah, eh, it, it, it's fine. It, it's fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. For those of you who are new here, uh, yes, still playing this on the regular Xbox One. Uh, we don't have next-gen console money at all. I, I can assure you that. Uh, YouTube don't pay me that much. Not, not even not even close. I can get a couple pizzas from these YouTube checks, but that's really you about it. Answer. That's what I never understood. How do they know that they're there? Thank you, Chairman Hoshino. Captain Takabe said it would be okay for us to talk. I heard. And I believe I already know why you've come. Nani? You've done us a great service. I would not still be leader of this clan if it weren't for you. I'll try to get comfortable. Does that mean the Seiryu clan's gonna pull through? I can't say for sure yet. About 20 to 30% of our men defected to the Omi. The ones Ew. who stayed are grumbling behind my back. And Ew, it's hard stingy. to blame them. They just found out the Jincho standoff was all a sham. Zhao told me he's giving up his position as the leader of the Liu Meng. Songhui is going to lead them. Yes, I know. <laughs> you just know everything, huh? Not everything. But I'll tell you what I do know. Eventually... The Seryu clan will succumb to the Omi Alliance. What? For people who had nowhere to live outside the Grey Zones, the Great Wall of Muscle was their only protection. Now it's crumbling. That's a matter of life or death for them. Already rumors are flying into Jincho's political circles. Rumors that Ogikubo's lost his touch. I'm sure Aoki got those whispers going. Never lets a good crisis go to waste. I cannot wait oh, to fight really. him. <coughs> Aoki knows it would destroy the party. Well, he's running to him. Revealed their chair, Ogikubo, forged money for years. Now Aoki can easily blackmail Ogikubo and force him to step down. Aoki will become the new party chair. I don't get it. Why does he want to take Ogikubo's place so bad? Party chair manages elections, so in that role, Aoki could nominate anyone he wants. He'll control the ruling party. 
Therefore, he'll control the nation. The whole country will be under his thumb? Yes. Especially if I'm right about his next move. I think he's gonna try to dissolve Parliament. <clears throat> what was that extra grunt? Or was that Ichiban? That was, that was kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Oh. Dissolve oh, Parliament. never mind. I'm fucking racist like as fuck. I thought that was Joe Sawawara? I, I understand I how name. you must feel. <clears throat> being unable to rely on Ogi Kubo Sensei. But honestly, I have the power to support you better than he ever could. Can we just take a take a minute to see how this meant? He went from being a tier three simp. This man walked just to get this girl, just for her to never be interested in him in the first place. And now this man is like this close to rule to ruling like the whole country under his thumb. Oh man. If an election were held today, I could guarantee you two-thirds of the seats. Minimum. Do you have a solid plan for doing that? Yes. I'll send Bleach Japan to the districts where the citizens' liberal party is weakest. Bleach Japan can influence votes anywhere. Even sounds a little Incredibly different. Incredibly popular. Or maybe That's I just forget. A victory for the party would, of course, move your personal political goals forward. Andy, I just realized he got the ice and slick oh. back. The... Wait, so he still got the glasses on. Tell me, do you think you have the power to maintain the party stability <clears throat> right now? I bet you when we fight him, you're gonna take the glasses off. The lack of support. Man, got the Clark Kent. You can talk that way to the house, but not to me. Okay. Appoint me to party chair and hold an election. If you don't, I'll be forced to make public the nature of Ogi Kubo Sensei's crimes. That would mean the end of not only your administration. But the party itself. But there's no precedent for someone serving as both governor and party chair. Besides, you're much too young. If age is what you want, start digging for some old fossil who can stop me. That is, if you think you can find one. Anyone in particular come to mind? Why does he give me evil ex-boyfriend number three from Scott Pilgrim vibes? Like, Brandon Roth? A.K.A. Superman and what uh, all the other stuff he played, I think. Was that even his? I forget. But that that guy, like, like Sunday, because the cleaning the cleaning lady doesn't do doesn't clean on Sundays. The the vegan one, like I don't know, he I reminds me of him. Destroy the Great Wall <clears throat> worked. Now he's got Mabuchi and the Omi at his command. So much power vested in just one man. And it had to be Masato Arakawa. Damn. And it all started because his boss got hung. That's crazy. Blood is being spilled all because an outsider interfered. Yep. Kasuga, I know you never intended to be at the center of all this. It was pure coincidence that you were there when the soap landowner died. Yup. We, we just wanted money. <laughs> we just yeah. wanted money. Lucky me. But one thing I don't believe is a coincidence is that you ended up in Ijin Show. I'm still trying to figure that out. What do you mean? Because he got shot. Who you took still him there? Have that fake bill. Yeah, uh, didn't didn't you say you? Oh yeah. How it ended up on me. Yes. <clears throat> Only one person in the world could have put that bill in your pocket. Who? Who is it? Masumi Arakawa himself. Arakawa. But why? No, he he's the one who shot me. Yes, I'm aware he shot you. But did you ever consider that maybe he did that so you would end up here? What? 
That fake bill was his letter of introduction between you and me. It was to let me know that you were one of Masumi Arakawa's men. Uh, kind of a weird way to introduce us, don't you think? I think what it means is Arakawa's goals do not align with those of Ryo Aoki. Well, then, what are Arakawa's goals? I really can't say. But I do know that he means business. They wouldn't have used that bill if he didn't. Chairman, how exactly do you know Arakawa-san? Well, well, that's a long story. And there's a much <sighs> better place than here to tell it. Aeon Tower. Aeon Tower? Yes. That's where my fate intertwined with Arakawa's. <sighs> He sure seems to be partial to Peking Duck. Yeah. Let's have it for lunch tomorrow. My treat. I'll make the reservation. Is this actually going to happen? Because last time I tried to get some Peking Duck, I got put in jail. <sighs> Fuck. I feel like my brain is going to explode. Under like the exposition this man is gonna give me, he's gonna say some some stuff that I'm just not gonna see coming. Persona Five and just be like making weird fucking faces and whatnot. Come on, Xbox, load. Uh, you're you're right there. Just do it. For a second, I thought I heard it. Like like make that Dreamcast sound. I don't know if you own the Dreamcast, but if you did. And you thought you was gonna be slick trying to sneak and play that? Nah, not with all that. It's still not loaded. Thank you. Look oh, back at the bar. Oh yeah, we stay here now. That's right. It's our new house. Well, place of residence. Why do I not have shoes? Well, never mind. You don't wear shoes in there. Um. I am 100% full up. Make my way downstairs. Am I randomly wearing shoes? That was I always wearing shoes. I'm confused. Well, everyone's already good to go. Wants me to talk to Namba? Why does it want me to talk to Namba? Listen. Good to talk, Ichiban. After hearing, after hearing what you said about Chairman Hoshino earlier, there's something I'm curious about. Okay, huh? Lay it on me then, I guess. This could this could have been a cutscene. Well, remember how I said it wasn't chance that you came to okay. Jincho? Yeah, something like that. Well, while you were bleeding out from gunshot wound, when I was working my ass off to find the tools to treat you, I doubt you remember. Nah. You know my gratitude is <laughs> deeper than the oceans for that. Well, I think the part you'll want to know is the one who told me to treat you was none other than the chief. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was in the middle of the night. I was asleep, of course. The chief and a few guys came to me in a panic and asked me to mm. fix you up. What? But now that I think about it, why would they care? What was that supposed to mean? You didn't need a motive to save a dying man, do you? If you were one of us, sure, I would have done it, no questions asked. But getting involved with a shot Yakuza, that's asking for trouble. If they really wanted to save you, why didn't they drop you off at the hospital or call an ambulance, but not for me? Huh. But the chief wanted to keep it in-house. Right. So I think the chief must have had a reason he wanted to save you. A reason we still don't know. Where, why is my reading all of a sudden getting amazing now? I guess he might. I think it relates to what Chairman Hoshino was saying about you being here isn't just chance. No. You think there's more to the chief than we know? I'm sorry to think that. Well, every hobo has a secret or two he's hiding. Hey. If you got time before your pecking duck date, maybe talking with the chief might would be a good idea. 
I don't like this detour because I feel like I'm gonna try to get some Peking duck and I can't again. Alright, I see y'all wanna get there. They have Persona soundtracks in this game. Jewel Jewel Breaker. What is Jewel Breaker? Oh, okay. I didn't even time that right and he Ooh, hold up. Do this to you. Katon, go Kakiro Jutsu. Oof. Got my boy looking clean. And I had to have him looking clean. I didn't want him to look like a narc. Uh Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah, look at that MP that um, he got. Now I can just just be hitting groups of enemies like crazy. Also, by the way, I have like a million dollars already. That, that's crazy. Technically, I can do that one side quest right now. Why is he not at the camp? Chief. Hmm? My friend's got some questions about the day I was dumped in this town. What do you mean, my friend? You, yeah. He knows Namba? I want to know why you didn't just abandon Ichiban <clears throat> and dump him at a hospital. If you don't mind telling us, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. Uh-oh. Ow, ow, my leg cramping. I'll tell you, it's as good a time as any. Uh, what? There's an old tradition in this homeless camp. Tradition? A responsibility passed down through the chiefs for many years. What responsibility? On occasion, when we're asked, we dispose of bodies. What? Bodies? Yeah. There's a Yakuza family from Kamurocho who pays us to do it. They're called Arakawa. Arakawa? Seriously? They... Uh, was this going on while they were still Tojo? I don't know every detail, but yes. The arrangement existed at that time. It existed before I started living here. We've dealt with all kinds of bodies. Whether they've been shot, stabbed, beaten. No I thought they say bit at first. We dug holes and buried them under garbage. Who knows how many are there now? Back during the bubble, we got one every month. Or so I was told. Since I became chief, there's only been three. Damn. Arakawa the assassin. But there's one more secret rule. It applies to anyone the Arakawa bring here alive. Uh, secret within the secret. Great. What happens if they bring someone alive? We're supposed to give the person medical aid, then let them go free while pretending they're dead. Uh, what's up with that? So is Arakawa not the, the main world, bad person? People wanting to fake I mean, I think it's gonna be his son, by the looks of it. Guys on the run. Anyone who's afraid someone will hurt them. They send people like that here. We honor the secret agreement. I think it might actually be a service the Arakawa family provides, but obviously they don't advertise it. So it ended up being a very rare event. Is that agreement why you saved me? This live body rule? <sighs> you got it. What sort of guy dropped me off here? I mean, probably just someone from the family. I had no reason to check or anything. The guy lugged you out of the trunk of a car. You were covered in blood. But who? He paid me and left. Didn't say a single thing the whole time. If it was Joe, that would be crazy. I would be shocked, to be I'm honest, sorry. if it was Joe. You have to die. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Huh? What the? Hmm? 
After Arakawa-san shot me, I think he said something. I think it was, I'm counting on you, Ichi. What would that even mean? No clue. But the more I think about it, the more I'm sure he said that. Kind of convenient you learning that now, but I, I get it. I get it. What? I don't want to dash your hopes or anything. When you were dumped here, you were on death's doorstep. You were only alive because everything I did went exactly the way we needed it to. But it could have easily gone a different way. I know you want to trust Arakawa, but... I think Arakawa-san had to shoot me. All the other Yakuza at that meeting were watching him. Huh? Never mind. You don't get it. Forget I said anything. Oh. Never mind. Oh, yep. Ichiban, it's about time to go to Hien Tower. You got lunch plans with the chairman, uh, Hoshino, right? Oh, boy. Where is that again? All the way on the other side of the fucking planet, mate, with two side quests. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, looks like we're here. After a couple little detours, I had to take real quick. Oh, I think I'm good to go. All right. What you got? What you got for me? Kind of cold. Not even because I don't have my beanie. It was more so my arms are cold. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I don't see any food. I went ahead and got started. You sure you don't mind treating me? What? Are you actually able to pay? Wish I could, but I don't think they take this. You don't sound like you're gonna relax during this meal. Nope! Depends on what you say. Hopefully I'll relax enough to enjoy the duck. So, uh, how do you know Arakawa-san? I'm on the edge of my seat here. It wasn't long after the war the counterfeit bills started being produced in Ijincho. It was top secret. Only the heads of the Seiryu clan and the Liumang, plus some officers, knew about it. Outside of that inner circle, they also had to hire people to smuggle the bills. Smugglers? One of them was a traveling actor. His name was Toshio Arakawa. He was Masumi Arakawa's father. What? One day he came to us saying he lost an entire suitcase filled with a hundred mil in fake yen. No excuse in the world could have saved him. A mistake that grave required the Seiryu clan to make an example out of him for the other smugglers. <laughs> but remember, only a few people at the top even knew about the counterfeiting. It wasn't a task they could hand to just anybody. So I, being next in line to inherit the clan, was entrusted to carry it out. So did you- What? You actually- Yes. I killed Toshio Arakawa. Father of Masumi Arakawa. In this very place? Forty years ago. But I had no idea who was in the room with my target. By the time I learned it was his 14-year-old son. It was too late. I had to go through with the hit, knowing this boy would see his father die. To make my Damn. guilt even worse. Later, I found out why Toshio lost the fake bills. His wife and her lover had stolen them. 
Oh my God! Two fell into the ocean and disappeared. Their corpses were never even found. So Arakawa saw and lost both his parents, one after the other. And his only other friends, the theater troupe, disbanded soon after without their leader. Masumi Arakawa became a drifter, <sighs> along with a few other actors. They couldn't trust anyone. So what other path was there for them, except becoming Yakuza and Kamurocho? Is that why he likes pecking duck? But that is, that's weird. Arakawa joined a low-ranking family in the Tojo clan called the Hikawa family. Life wasn't easy for him there. They were the kind of family that took hits without thinking twice. Really? Yes. So they were always in need of ways to dispose of a body. Matsumi Arakawa was tapped to help with that. And he was extremely cautious. To do it, he started coming all the way to the homeless camp in Ijincho. Really? Even though the family was based in Tokyo? Why? Well, truthfully, he wanted an excuse to come to Yokohama. Because it would afford him opportunities to hunt his father's killer. I see. So Arakawa-san was using the homeless camp to dispose of bodies all the way back then. Indeed. As for his hunt, he researched Yakuza and criminals every time he was here. All he started with was a single clue. His own childhood memory of the suspicious waiter he saw here that night. Eventually, seven years after the murder, I received an invitation to come here. He signed his invitation, Matsumi Arakawa. It was a bold declaration. Like a lot. I knew immediately the running would be futile. So I came here, alone. I didn't even bring a bodyguard. Why the hell not? Well, to put it simply, I was prepared to die. But, I mean... In this line of work, there are no good ways to die. And I can think of worse ways to go that would not give that boy the justice he'd earned. The memory of what I'd done to him never left me, you know. It was always like a small bone stuck in my throat. That is just... <sighs> He was sitting right where you were. I knew it was going to be something. Ugh. I knew it was going to be something crazy. He didn't look a day over 20. But his eyes had that hard, flinty gaze of an old killer. I couldn't help myself. I told him everything. I told him why I killed Toshio Arakawa. I even told him about the secret counterfeiting. I figured I was dead anyway. He had a gun in his hand, and all he had to do was pull the trigger. But he never once interrupted me. When I'd finished, he slowly stood up. I stopped him as he turned to leave. Didn't you come here for revenge? I asked. And? What did he say? He said, If only you had ignored my invitation, then I could have shot you in the back. Then, he left. Hell. Uh, boss. In 1984, the 10,000 yen bill changed from the face of Prince Shotoku to Yukichi Fukuzawa. By that time, Arakawa had found his own Yakuza family. So I sent him a gift. What was it? 
A fresh batch of crisp, fake bills featuring Yukichi Fukuzawa. They were defective prints with nothing on the back. <laughs> Not exactly legal tender. Then, how was that a gift? It's hard to explain. If I had to say, I was out of gratitude. Sure, but for what? I should have died that day I met with Arakawa. I would have been right. And yet, he spared me. Not only that, but he lifted a terrible weight from my chest. Furthermore, it's not an exaggeration to say the equilibrium among the Ejin Three continues to this day because of him. Wow. I owe him an unfathomable. Who would have thought that he ends up Today, not being the bad person? I don't think. So instead, it's Son, which makes sense. How I chose to communicate the sentiment. Counterfeiting secret is in Jincho's weakness. And it was only thanks to Arakawa that the Ejin Three could continue to secretly wield that power. But of course, that means if he ever feels like it was a mistake to let me live, he can use the fake bills to unravel everything I've built. The gift wasn't the bills themselves, they were leverage. I actually wrote something on the back to that effect. Neither justice nor mercy should tip the scale. It means that those in power must reward and punish where necessary. I felt it was an appropriate message. I suppose the writing has faded at this point. Whoa. That's the whole story. Up till this moment. But now I'm sitting across from a man holding one of those fake pills. Which, of course, is a message from Arakawa that only I could understand. The message is, Masumi Arakawa sees you as a beloved family member. Arakawa-san? Thinks of me as family. All right, that don't mean we gotta go back to simping, man. We got a job to do. We gotta go beat up his son. You see its significance now. After everything, I'm this doesn't stop moving down. There is almost no doubt in my mind that Arakawa did not want you killed. So he didn't shoot you out of malice. He shot you so that you would be brought here, be saved by the homeless, and eventually meet up with me. Do you see? So I still didn't get any of this duck. <laughs> That's everything I can tell you. That's plenty. Thank you, Chairman. I see it all now. I always kind of figured. But I don't know what our next move is now, to be honest. You did? Well, it's your move now. Exactly. Only like, where, where do I go? I know, so. It's okay. That's enough. Trust you. Unless you're lying, then I gotta come back and... Well, I don't hear that often. Yeah, neither do I. Not even for my friends. But those friends are trustworthy to me. And so are you. I believe everything you said. And... My faith in Arakawa-san is coming back strong. Kasuga. Yeah? Are you... A blood relative of Arakawa's? <laughs> no, it's not like that. I see. Well, he must have been happy to have such loyalty as yours. As proud as any father, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's dead. Oh, never mind. <laughs> thought, I thought he was dead. I'm like, um, uh, he's gonna pull out the glizzy and shoot him. 
All right, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Definitely didn't play long enough. What is this chapter called? The odds, like, are in my favor. Nagatocho has been rocked by party chair Ogi Kubo's sudden retirement due to illness. Long a central figure in politics, Ogi Kubo was the prime minister's last ally in keeping parliament together. An election shall be held to reaffirm the will of the people. I look forward to a new citizens' liberal party and a new cabinet. The prime minister made more shockwaves later that day. In the afternoon, he announced he would appoint Rio Aoki to Ogi Kubo's now vacant post. Aoki will be the first sitting governor to also serve as the ruling party's chair. This bold move is sure to have ripple effects. Starting off about Rio Aoki. Okay, the young master. I forget who this is. How are you feeling, former champion? Joe? Surely the governor of Tokyo can read. Oh, Ogi Kubo. My sign says no visitors. <laughs> oh, suddenly rules are important to you. Naturally. Shouldn't you concern yourself with the rules you've already broken? For example, counterfeiting. Your crimes put the entire national economy at risk. Do you know how many lives were saved by what you call a crime? Hundreds. Any politician can say they built a road or passed a law. But how many can say they caught people who fell through the cracks? You think you're talented enough... Sawashiro, that's his name. There we go. Joe Sawashiro. Oh, I've got plenty of talents. I just use them very Why differently he look compared to... Kind of Kind of beefy, For example, like. I managed to fit your downfall into my already very busy schedule. This man looked like he would play Superman. The party chair. Nothing could be more ripe for corruption. Oh, everything I'm gonna do will be labeled scandalous by withered old men like you. But by next year, Japan will have a new standard, and it will have been written by me. Spoken like a true amateur. Whoa, whoa, what is this music? Amateur. What is this tone? Let me ask you. Do you remember my first election ten years ago? I asked you for the Citizens Liberal Party endorsement. You insulted me. Your exact words were, Bleach Japan is a bunch of kids playing at politics. Your home district is Kanagawa's second. Isn't that right? I'm happy to tell you. Leech Japan will be running a candidate there in the next election cycle. And he'll have the Citizens Liberal Party's ringing endorsement. So, how does it feel to have everything taken from you by a bunch of kids? Our candidate's victory in Kanagawa's District 2 is all but certain. So I've come up with a plan for taking out the trash in Ijincho. Of he course. wants us to deal with his brother. I mean, his son. The population. Are you calling the people of Ijin Show trash? I'm calling them disposable. Okay, you starting to sound like the dude from Arrow. Um, with dropping you? the thing to kill 500 people. Through the cracks. Can't you see that's their own fault for becoming so dependent on the gray zones? They're responsible for maintaining their home. And they fail. Yo, my man's heart rate That's is going through the roof. Disposable. But I must be going. As I said, I've got a busy schedule. Happy retirement, my former chair. Wait, did he? Truly wish he didn't do anything to him, did he? <sighs> I hope you'll visit Ijincho after its beautiful new developments are complete. You'll hardly recognize it. And I can't wait to see the look on your face when you see it. Yo, someone help this man. Like, what? <sighs> oh, my God. This man. Is, oh.
<laughs> Excuse me, I'm about to choke him on saliva. But it's crazy. I'm pretty sure Masumi Ar Arakawa didn't want his son to be to grow up crazy. To grow up not crazy, but like this. Especially the the childhood he grew up in, just for both his parents to die, with which his dad wasn't really bad. His mother, on the other hand, gave him that little scar. Uh, but, but like now, I don't know what what do we do? What what do we do? I have no idea. Something has to happen to carry the story for us to have a lead to go somewhere. Because at this point, I really don't know what would drive the plot forward at this point. Because we know nothing on where to go. Except the loading times. Alright. Come on, there we go. It's your hideout? Jow? Yep, go ahead. Make yourself at home. I'd love to, but uh, where could I even do that? Yes, the square footage of this place leaves something to be desired. Well, excuse me. I'm hearing some pretty high standards. <laughs> Pad crashers. We're not crashing it. Nambasan gave us permission. <laughs> Who the hell says no to Jungi Han when he has to stay the night? I mean, it's freaking Jungi Han. Hey, where are the rest of your people? What? <laughs> <laughs> They're fixing the surveillance system. It will take some time for it to be fully restored. Well, I get why Jungi Han is staying here since his place is a pile of ashes. But what's Zhao's excuse? It's not like I could just keep living in Ching Chen after stepping down from the Liu Meng. Wouldn't have sent the right message. So, I've joined the ranks of the homeless. Still doesn't explain why you need to stay here. Yep. Maybe because information collects where people do. And this group does seem to be in the know. We do? But we don't even know what happened to Bleach Japan. Did the police ever put a stop to all that craziness? The police? Haven't you seen the news? No. Honestly, I haven't watched TV. Well, Bleach Japan's reputation on the game. Jin Show, hell, all of Japan is golden after the Komi Jewel thing. What? What? Oh yeah, you wouldn't believe the headlines. Despite peril, brave Bleach Japan topples Komi Jewel gang. <laughs> Grassroots org achieves what police never go. <sighs> Shit like that. Wow, great journalism. No spin at all. That's not even the worst of it. Oh god, what else, or man? Say that Komiju committed arson during its fight with Bleach Japan. And in the blaze, Bleach Japan director Ogasawara perished. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what happened? He was definitely alive after the fire. That's when we interrogated him. Yeah, then the Omi Alliance rescued him. Why would he be... Wait, did they? Yes, they probably killed him. I had that thought right away. At least he died the way he wanted to, as a hero of the revolution. That guy? A hero? Why they kill him? Because he squawked like a bird when you interrogated him. Why wouldn't they off the guy? Now they're just milking his death for all it's worth. Honestly, it's a brilliant move. Making it look like he died in the Comey Jewel fire. No crime reports, cops and doctors wouldn't bat an eye. And Bleach Japan gets a nice, tragic death. Wow. Ah, damn. I wish we'd picked a fight with dumber enemies. Facts, man. What God do damn. Do? Go to the police the, and explain uh, how we Shikamaru stuff. What would be the point? Half the force is on Mabuchi's payroll. Uh, they would just book our asses. So Aoki has everyone marching along to his little tune. All in step. No master. Okay, Bleach Japan's got us by the short hairs there. But what about the fact they were trespassing on Komijo property? Well, they must have figured the public would think the ends justified the means. 
Yep. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes the needs must. Bleach Japan is the hero of this story. The police will never prosecute them for trespassing. At this rate, the Kami Jewel and the Liu Mong are going to be extinct in Ijincho. And people like you who give us shelter will be an endangered species. I wish I didn't have to say this, but I suggest you make other living arrangements. I can't. I'm waiting for someone to contact me here. Who? Arakawa? Arakawa? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's about to go all in with his next gamble. I forgot. I'm happens, my best friend. You'll need strong allies. M more than he's already got? I can't say anymore. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll be in touch. Hmm. Well then. But isn't Masumi Arakawa the man who shot you? The boss wasn't trying to kill me. He shot me so I could live. Sorry, but don't you think that's still kind of fucked up? Not wrong. It's a long story. Buy me a beer sometime and I'll tell you all about it. But right now, while we've got you on the team, we need to get shit done. And we need to Wait, he's on the team? And supplies because nobody knows what the hell will happen next. That's for sure. What class is he even? What class is he even? Y'all are just giving me like too many party members. I'm not used to this. Super Mario RPG, we only had five. I've, I've played other RPGs. Calm, calm down. I've, I've literally played Breath of Fire 3 and 4. With the, with the fall of the Great Wall of Muscle and Yokohama crime, rising crime rate. What? The city's villains grow more powerful. Be on the lookout as you may. Seems like a lot of enemies who drop crests have been showing up lately. Guess the Tojo clan butted heads with just a f with more than just a few folks around town. Hunt these guys down and snag yourself some crest. Zhao's ran Zhao's rather demeaning. I'm sorry, demanding experience as the leader of Yokohama Liu Mong has toughened him up against bleeding, fear, rage, and silence. But I don't even I don't even know what is what I'm gonna put him in the party not here. I'm gonna put him in the party because I don't know like what he does. Like what what do you do? Um Yeah, I was like I can't switch him out. And she's like the god tier. What? I think I think I'm going to switch out Adachi for now. Just for now. Oh god, your stats are horrible. I don't even know what you do. I do know I need to I need to give you some equipment though. Tianju Zhao. You're the one with the saber. All right. I'll be back. Who's calling me? Hey, Chivon, how are hey. you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? Good, good. Can I ask you f what? A favor, though. Sure. I think you can take out hmm? the trash. I'm just cleaning my house, and there's some stuff I don't need anymore. No rush, just come. Okay. That doesn't sound suspicious. Alright, I guess I'm getting into a new fight with these new people. Alright, we'll love y'all. I don't even know what you do. Triple Tiger Lashing. Excuse me, Shao. Uh, let's let let's do it big. Ooh, I definitely didn't get that one. Jewel Breaker. That happened so fast. Okay. You're gonna be in a world of 
All right, hopefully it should kill you. Nah, it's not. Alright, um, interesting. Okay, so I went from being overpowered to a absolutely nobody. Just that fast. Just that fast, okay. Jesus. Dragon Ascension. Oh, what this look like, Jow? Ooh. Oh no, we're no, 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 no. Every, every, everybody got to go, got to go. Oh my Christmas! Sheesh. Nope, don't even get up. Oh, you got up there. Uh, heal yourself. Oh my god. Go ahead, Dragon's Ascension. Oh, and oh, yeah, yes. Let's put this to bed. Oh, that oh, I was oh, no, the cars didn't hit you, but I will. Dragon Vortex or Dragon's Vortex. That's scary how strong you are. Um Unbelievably scary how strong you are. Um Ooh. Please don't be strong. Okay, thank you. Oh, man. But I'm still gonna pack out with a mega swing. Dang it, I was too early. I mean, late, I'm sorry. But yeah, actually, I'm gonna wanna tag out. I'm gonna tag you out and uh, you're gonna put it in the Dachi sign. Boop, boop. Yeah, I shouldn't have went over there. I don't know what I was thinking. Just do a regular hit. Boop, follow up. Whoa, did you have a shining gun eye? Get out of here. I mean, I respect the fact you're wearing a mask and everything. His mask up, but still. Y'all gotta stop hitting them in the nuts, man. Give them the people's elbow. Okay. My bad. Nonetheless, I'm back. Apparently, you're here to take out Sachan's trash? Whatever that. <sighs> Keep walking that way, please. Come on, cutscene. Come on, cutscene. Okay, at least let me pick up the Tojo Crest that I was chilling there. That isn't there doing a cutscene. <laughs> well, look what the cat dragged in. Hamago-san, what's all this? 
Didn't I tell you? I'm decluttering. <laughs> I lugged all this out here by myself. Oh, I'm beat. I was hoping you big, strong men might do the rest. You buying new futons or something? Business must be good. Wait, there's no one here. Where are the girls? They all quit. <laughs> Ooh, shoot. I'm closing up shop. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what? Eugene Show Revitalization Shelter. It's a facility in Hamakita Park. Bleach Japan set it up. Girls from the industry and their families can live there free of charge. For free? Damn. And all your girls went there? Sure did. Why wouldn't they? The facility's offering job training and legal help with visas. No better place for girls like them who don't have citizenship. And Bleach Japan is behind this whole operation? Yeah, they're being useful for once. They're gonna open more just like it, too. And they even offered to buy my place and turn it into a shelter. There's gonna be something with that. What are you going to do? This place is your bread and butter, isn't it? Oh, they thought of that. They gave me a job at the shelter. I'm gonna be the dorm mother. Oh, it's good pay. And perfect for a feisty old gal like me. Gotta say, I'm coming around on these do-gooders. There, there's something up to this. Don't you remember what they put you through? Sure, they were annoying. Bunch of kids tramping around, shouting shit they heard in prep school. But hey, now they're putting their money where their mouth is. It wasn't just a bunch of whining. They actually did something about it. And apparently the shelters were real. <laughs> uh oh. I have to say, it's pretty damn genius of him. Not to be a downer, but don't you think he's basically just buying votes? Once the election is over, I bet you he's gonna forget all about these shelters. Yeah, seriously. Politicians pull this shit all the time. You don't know him. You can't just assume he's like that. I don't know him. Ooh. Oofy. She'll let them live in. I'll have you know, Aoki-san came all the way out to a jean show today. Wait, he's in town. Whoa. Attending Ogasawara-san's funeral. See, that shows he's a good guy. The guy has got a million things on his plate, but still carves out time for a friend. You've got no business bad mouthing him. When Remember, you don't I said that the plot wasn't giving us anything. Hmm. Think it's time for me to pay a little visit. Oh, yeah. definitely. There's stuff I want to ask him about. With my fist. Oh wait, we that can't. That would that'd be bad. You guys are nuts. Oh, what's your plan? Stroll up and demand a meeting with the most powerful man in Tokyo? Oh, funerals are easy to sneak into. Everyone's too polite to ask questions. Why are you supporting this lunacy? Sorry, Hamako-san. But do you mind if I get rid of your trash some other day? What's wrong with now? <laughs> There's just this thing I gotta take care of. Fine. Just don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> Even though I feel like I've done enough for you, fuck. See how, see how quick people change on Does you? See know where this funeral is? If it's like any that. Jincho, it's gotta Make be sure you find some good ass friends. Uh, who knows lesson for today? All right, let's roll on over there. Let me tell you, people change on you like that. But with that said, I will be attending that funeral on the next episode. Um, sorry, this is gonna be a bit of a cliffhanger. I've been recording for a while. Uh, I need to find a sword for Zhao, but I don't know where to go to get one because I've been to like all the shops and I even tried to make one. But I don't have all the materials. But anyway, with that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support and stuff. Um, I know, once again, I know this is not really one of my series that everyone watches. But the people that do and leave comments, thank you. Uh, y'all stay safe out there. And I will see y'all on the next one.